Hi, I'm Yannick. Hi, I'm Arthur. Welcome to Wawy Śląskie, where we are building the digital twin of the water power plant. Thank you so much for having us and welcome to Enlid on the Road. Tell us a little bit about the plant. Uh, welcome to Tauron Ecoenergia. We operate 34 water power plants. One of them is uh, the run of the river water power plant where we are doing the, the Hydroflex project. The Hydroflex project is focusing on uh, in, uh, making improvements in all water power plants. Uh, uh, because in the European Union there is a lot of existing water power plants that are uh, 50, 60 years old, mostly analog systems, and we are working on improving it. We are going through the age of decarbonization and hydropower plants offer the flexibility and support for the power system. This power plant is 70 years old, it was commissioned in 1959 and it's definitely an analog one. And that's why we have chosen this particular site for the project. Through the digitalization of the power plant, we will get more reliability and more safe operation of the power plant. We also want to increase the efficiency of the production of power. And we also get more information about all the processes in the power plant so that it will be better fitted for the needs of flexible power system of the future. At Wrocław University of Science and Technology, uh, at the Faculty of uh, Power and Mechanical Engineering, uh, my team works on uh, the D-Hydroflex project uh, because we are experienced with the turbo machinery design, turbo machinery optimization, uh, we mainly work with the uh, water turbines and centrifugal pumps, but also different types of kinds of propellers. Here we model uh, the turbines uh, to create their digital twin in order to improve their efficiency, uh, optimize uh, the, the geometry. The main challenges in creating 3D models are recreating the documentation because, for example, for older turbines we lack the uh, accurate documentation, so that's why we need 3D scanning technology. Uh, to create an accurate model and then we could go to the uh, CAD model creation which is usually also not that simple because from the 3D scan we have only point cloud and then we need to convert it into the su surface data CAD model uh, that could be used in further, further optimization of the geometry of the turbine. In order to, to, to turn the analog information or analog model of the water power plant, of the dam, of the turbine, uh, we need to reconstruct the geometry uh, create uh, mathematical models that describe the uh, operation of the given part of the uh, water power plant. Uh, it could be a dam, it could be a turbine. We are also uh, modeling the hydrological models, water flows into the water power plant. In the, the, the Hydroflex we have few teams that work on the different, uh, different modules, different tools. We are working on the digital twin of the turbine. The Hydroflex project trying to create initial versions of the tooling that could be used in all of the other water power plants. So that's why the scope of the, the Hydroflex is so broad. And that's why we work on so many different tools. We need the, the data for everything. And in order to, to gather this data, uh, we need to switch digitized versions of the systems uh, in the water power plants. Digital Twin is really broad scope. So it's not only cut digital model of, for example, of the turbine or of the dam, but this is also data we gather. Uh, mathematical models we create uh, for, the, for the system and uh, the simulation we could do with those mathematical models, some kind of optimization of the, uh, of the operation of the water, uh, water power plant. Uh, also there is a predictive maintenance, so for example we could try to predict if uh, there will be fault or we need to do the maintenance, for example, in, in uh, some time in the future or maybe not. We could skip maybe future maintenance, it will reduce the cost. We are just a part of the D-Hydroflex. There is, for example, a group in, in Spain that works uh, with the hydrogen production in cooperation with the water power plant. There is also a group in Greece 
Uh, actually, they are focusing on two, two topics. One of the topic is uh, dumb digital twins. Another one is uh, uh, the team that is focusing mainly on the networking securities. There is a French group that is focusing on the identification of the fish, just to, to, to check if the, the passage is working efficiently or if the uh, fish actually pass through the passage, not through the turbines. And also uh, there is a team uh, uh, in Spain, I think that they are working with the Romania uh, water power plant and they, they are focusing on the predictive maintenance. Yannick, why is a project like Hydroflex important now? Year after year we have less water. The change is constant, it's visible and it's alarming. We have to use our resources in a better way. Let's be prepared. I'd like to ask you about sustainability. There's a lot happening here in terms of digitalization, but in terms of environmental protection and sustainability, talk to us about some of the initiatives. Yes, uh, sustainability is a very important issue. That's why we cannot build new water power plants everywhere we want to, because we also have to keep all the environment in mind. Uh, we have to use the existing power plants in a more efficient and better way. And also in the existing power plants, we are taking care about the environment, about the fishes. We try to let them pass the power plant upstream and downstream so that the nature around us will not be hampered. It's also important to care about all the technical aspects so that there will be no leakage and no environmental problem, no negative interaction with the beautiful surrounding here and at other power plants. And when we have the digital twin, we know exactly what's going on. We can better ring a bell when there is a problem and maintenance is needed. Yannick, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your insights. For more insights, join the Inlet community.